Okay, so we were discussing p- the potential Myers Ayin issues that we have in uh, in businesses with non Jews, right? And now we are on to this complicated Tosfos. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you remember, the Gemara had said that in a case of Arisut, a case of sharecropping, mm-hmm. even though the Jew owns the property and. Um, but you would think it would be prohibited for the non-Jew to work from. It's not, because since the non-Jew is paid in percentage, so even though he's not the owner, we still have the argument of a daita de nafshi of it. The only potential problem we have is Maris Ayin in a case where Arisa is not normal, and the normal relationship is Hiryo, right, is a day worker, in which case it's problematic because you aren't allowed to have a day worker. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Good? Okay. Fine. So, Tosas picks up and cites the position of Rabinu Tam. And now you are in a place to understand it. And Rabbi Tam said, Pasak Rabbi Tam, Halacha. Oh, sorry. This was something, if you remember all the way the first day, right, we noted that there are two day out in the Gemara, right? Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel, and Rabbi Shimon ben Lazar, as to what exactly is Mutter. But Rabbi Tam Paskins, like the first position of Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel, who Paskins that research is Mutter, that's not the position of. Rishim and Elazar, remember that? Mm-hmm. You don't remember that? Right? Give me the Gemara for a second. Right? See, this was all the way at the beginning, right? The fact that I gave you source sheets doesn't exempt you from looking at the Gemara, right? right? Remember that the Gemara um, had said, so, Arisus, Rishim and Elazar, Lislay. He doesn't hold that the, the head there of. Arisut, right? Avarisut, meaning he doesn't buy the argument that sharecropping is mutter because at the end of the day he's working for you, right? We talked about this all the way at the beginning, right? But but we pasking, we were in time pasking the Rishim ben Gamliel. Okay, so pasking we in time the halach of Rishim ben Gamliel, the Amar Arisus, Arisus say kavit. Now again, Rishim Elazar makes a lot of sense, right? You could say, well, look, a sharecropper at the end of the day, it's owned by the Jew, so it's us, right? That makes sense. But we pasking Rishim ben Gamliel. We toch kaf, but then Rabbi Nathan expands this and says, Hitil Yisrael shenas and beso la soso be kablanos levnos baafilu be shabbos. From here, hmm. Rabbeinu Tam says, you're allowed to have a non-Jewish cobbler build you a house in public on Shabbos. The Kalvach Omer Nami, who the Hashem Arisus is Sardes, Shachelik Yisrael Mashbiach, Melacha Shari, Kavlan Shem Boshevach Yisrael Klal, B'Mashem Ar Nachri, Lasos of Bikavlan is Lakoshkin. The name of Kavlan and Kavlin who say Kavit. He said, "Look, we said that contract work is mutter. We said not only is contract work mutter, but even." Sharecropping is mutter, which is a bigger chiddush. Why? Because it's um, it's for fruit. Wait, sharecropping. Right, kablanus. Right, Rabbi Tom said. Right, kablanu is right less problematic. Why? Because the guy works totally for himself. Uh-huh. Right. But so the donor actually getting benefit for what he's making. Yes, but not the fact that he's doing it on Shabbos. Right. Arisut. It's not true. Because every day you make money. Why you make money every day if he's cook- if he's doing the shirt cropping for him? Because you make eighty percent. He only gets twenty percent. <laughs> and still it's mutter because we say he's working for himself. When do we oh when do we make the example that the portion for you is bigger than his? It's usually that you taking the smaller No, you take the bigger one. The owner takes the bigger one. And it's still mutter. Right? Because he's working for himself. Right? So, based on this, Rabbi Tom says, you see that anytime it's considered working for you, right, even a reason in Baba Homer Kabbalah, it's mutter, and therefore, Rabbi Tom allowed building a house on Shabbos. Okay? He did allow it or doesn't allow it? He does. But you're, aren't you going to benefit from the house? In a reason, you're benefiting. Right. In Kabbalah, you're benefiting. But we say it's mutter because the guy is considered working for himself. Okay. Shabbat and Tom said as long as it's a task worker, then it is mutter to have him build your house on Shabbos. Okay. okay. Oh, fine. Task worker. Now, what Gemara therefore does, what's the problem? Guys, what's the problem? With Why do we allow the this? This solves the fundamental problem. What problem does it not solve? Mars Ayin. Which Gemara tells us that a house is also because of Mars Ayin? 
Not our Gemara, because no. Gemara oh, no, it says nothing. Moi Prata. Good. So what's the solution? Look in Moed Kata. Outside the borders of the sea. Outside the borders of the sea. Read it like Rashi versus the Rosh. Read it like the Rosh, who says that that Gemara is only about Avelos. Avelos. And therefore say, but on a Shabbos level, there would be no Marzayan problem of Kablonus on Shabbos. And that's what Tosu says. Well, Fizet Sarch Iyun. Look. Fizet Sarch Iyun by he... The Perik Misha Havach. The Amr Shmuel Mekabla Kibbal Zerachat Chum Asr Chuzat Chum Mutter. He said, wait a second. The Gemara in Boi's content says, you're not allowed to build, a, have a guy build a house for you on Shabbos. If it's betochat meaning it's a place where people can see. Mm-hmm. No problem. He solves it by saying it's avelos like the rush. Okay. Yes. Now, what's the problem? What if What's the problem? What if Even if Rabbeinu Tam, let's well, just follow Rabbeinu Tam. Even if Rabbeinu Tam says that the Gemara in Moed Katan is only about Avilos, and therefore he says that it should be Mutter, what Gemara now does he have to contend with? Our Gemara. Our Gemara. Because what does our Gemara say? That's our Gemara says Sade Mutter. Why? Uh, is it not? Is it not wrong? Is it not? Yeah. Right. It's common. Right? Merchat. Asur. Asur, why? Because it's not that common. It's, it's uncommon. Not. Now what do we got to figure out? Shabbos here. Buy it, which is neither a Sada or a uh, Merchat. Right. Right? And Rabbi Tom has to explain why buy it is not like Sada and is more like Merchat. Right? That's his goal. Yes? Mm-hmm. Yes. Um... So, if you look at the Ksav Sofer over here, he tries to explain it. And he says, Look, now look, here we're getting into the weeds, right? But this is going to be important. Lamaisa. The Ksav Sofer says, here's the rule. Okay? You could have distinguished between Sada and Merchat's house. Right? Meaning, if it's about Marasayan, what's going to solve Marasayan? A tchum or. Well, it's a tchum. It's all betocha tchum. What will solve it? Probably. Ah. If you. What, if it's public. These oh, are all public. Oh. What if solves you, it? If you make it aware. Make it. How many people do it in a mutter way? Ah, right? Yeah. Meaning, will someone look at this and say he probably hired a day worker? Or not? Ah, Remember the Gemara said, yeah, by yeah, Sada, yeah. everyone does a risut. Mm-hmm. Everyone share crops. By merchats? Not everyone. Not Nobody. Everyone. So, Sada Sober says, well, a house, where does a house fall? So, the way he understands to- the Rabbinu Tam is like this. Right? He thinks that merchats is not at all. Right? That he, right? That the only time it's us, sir, is if. Not some do it this way, some do it that way. But if everyone does it, everyone does it in usher way, not usher way, <laughs> not usher way. Everyone does it tasks by day, and therefore it would be usher on Shabbos, not an usher way. Meaning, not everyone has a merchatz open on Shabbos. Meaning, anyone who has a merchatz hires day workers, and therefore to have it open on Shabbos should be usher. And therefore, even if you happen. To do it by task, it's still usher, because everyone's going to look at this and say, "That's Nachum's Hamish Bakery, right? Hey, or Nachum's Spa, not Luke's Spa. Luke is just the manager, mm-hmm. right? And even if Nachum had hired Luke as a sharecropper, right? Meaning he gives him twenty percent. So what would you say that is merchatz or not? So that's the merchatz case, right? So I'm says in the time of the Gemara, uh-huh. merchatz, nobody, nobody. Except for Nachum, right? In his Talmudic spa, right? Or whatever. The person Nachum is a Gilgul of, I don't know, right? Assuming you believe in Gilgul, right? Assuming you believe in Gilgul. So, uh, 
I don't want to get in trouble. I don't know which way I'm going to get in trouble. But I'm just kidding. Which side of that equation there? Um, Sada, on the other hand, the Ksav Sofer says, could go either way. And that is Mutter. Right? And then he says, I mean, even more Mechudash. And he says, even if what? Even if only some people do it. But, guys, look. It's normally done. But Jews will do it to avoid Shabbos problems. Mm-hmm. Right? Meaning, a normal person wouldn't do this. Like, it's not crazy. Some people rent out fields, Barisut, or houses, Barisut. But if they want to rent it out, if they want to have it done on Shabbos, then they will do it by Arisa because it'll make it mutter, or they'll do it by Kabloda because it'll make it mutter. Mm-hmm. So, Sofer says that's what Rabbeinu Tam says I is. I don't really understand mutter. what you're saying. Well, I'm, I don't really understand. This is a public place. Yes. Therefore, it should be usher to do it even in a mutter way because of Marisai. Okay. Right? Yes. Problem is, Rabbeinu Tam says you can have a house built in Kablanos. Yes. But houses, people build both bin Kablanos and uh, day workers. Uh, yeah. So shouldn't it be usher Mishra Marisai in? Because okay. some people do it in usher way. So the Ksav Sofer says it must be that Rabbeinu Tam understands the Marisai in differently. Okay. Namely, not all versus some, right? With all being mutter and some being usher, but even if some are... some versus none. I mean, and the only time it's usher is if nobody would do it big kablanos, okay? Right? But if anyone would do it big kablanos, Rabbeinu Tam will say mutter. And that's why he thinks a house is permitted. Because even if the majority of people don't do it, it's not unheard of. Um, okay. So he says, right? So he says, right? And he said, why does nobody do it with a spa? Why does nobody do it with a bathhouse? It's not just that they happen not to. Why don't they do it? Repeat the question, please. I'm sorry. Why? Right, right. The Ksav Silver says, according to Rabbeinu Tam, the reason that a Merchatz, you have to assume that it is done be stereo, meaning by day workers, managers, rather than Arisut or Kablanut, right? Such that it's Usr, meaning, right, he argues that it's only Usr if nobody does it by the way you're doing it, meaning by task. But if people do, then it's mutter. And that's why the house, according to Rabbeinu Tam, is mutter, because people will look and say, oh, sometimes you hire contractors. Right? Now, Ksav Sofer says, why was it that Nachum would, would be crazy to allow Luke to get 20% of his the profits of the merchats. So it looks like some days... Or, pe- or harem by task. So it looks some like days didn't take in that much profit. That's what he says, yeah, because profit is not nearly as high, or is not that much more than... Day by day. Expenses. Ah. Right? Meaning he's saying it's crazy to do it by their why, because let's say it costs Nachum a million dollars a year to put into the hotel to make sure that it's a functioning spa. And he brings in 1.1 million. Right? It's not bad. It's not terrible, right? As opposed to building a house, you put in 700,000, 100, a million shekel worth of building material, mm-hmm. and you sell it for 3 million. Right? Think about how, right, how much builders make. Right? right? It's a million shekel worth of building costs, but if you, it's in a good expensive area, that's what I Right? They'll sell it for triple the price easy. Mm-hmm. Right? So he says, look, it makes sense that I'll hire my contractor and say, look, finish the task and I'll put, right? I'll give you a nice salary for the job. Right? Or I'll give you a percentage of the job. Right? You don't do that when there's mar- marginal profit. Right? It's mar- meaning margin. Not so much. Margin. Right? That the margin of error is not so much. The margin of difference, not so much. Because then there's Maris Ayin. Um, and he says, therefore, even if you live in a place where people don't normally contract builders, now he makes another step. And he says, 
It's not just that it has to be not at all, but some is okay. It's part of the svara is also not at all because it's illogical. Right? Meaning nobody hires a contract worker for a merchatz and pays him by task because it's illogical. It's much easier to pay people minimum wage right, to work as your uh, to work in your spa and then you have a chance at making money. But if you give them a set te- a set you know high mm-hmm. job fee, right, it's gonna cut into your profits. Right? But by a buy it there's no particular reason. You could hire someone by the task. Haraya nowadays. That's what we do all the time. I mean, it's not like... So in the time of the Gemara, they didn't usually hire contractors for houses. They hired day workers. Nowadays, we usually do the opposite. But he's saying, as long as it makes sense either way, and therefore some people do it, Rabbi Tom will tell you it's mutter. Right? So for the Ksav Sofer, right... How do you deal with Marzayan? Right? What's the standard? The standard is, right? It's us or if. What? If. If everyone pays by day. By day. Because why? Because, right? There's a small margin of profit. Or the small profit margin. So then what? Then what? It's not. It's Mars Ayin and us, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. If it's a sub, meaning everyone does kablanos or sharecropping, then obviously mutter. The Ksav Sober says what Ben and Tom argues is if some people do it, some do it because it's logical either way. <laughs> then what? Correct. Then it's mutter. Now, I will just point out. Well, even even, even the other way, then what? Even if you say the other way, even if it could go either way. And now, remember, mean, what do you mean from the, what do we say before? Or from even if some people do it in other way, and some will do it in a mutter way, and therefore if someone could look at it and say, I don't know. Ah, you have a chashash, in other words. He's saying in okay. the Tom is machadish. That's mutter. Okay, okay. Right now. This may not be so clear, because remember, we talked about, le- like, last week, or Sunday, whenever we talked about it, that, right, Shad Marasayan, according to some, like the Stechemet, is exactly this difference, right? Well, they look at it and say, you're doing something Asr Vadai, or look at it and say, you might be, mm-hmm. right? This, according to the Stechemet, is called Shad, meaning, someone looks at it and says, I'm not sure, is it Mutter or is it Asr? And what did the Stechemet say? Then when is it usher? In public and mutter in private. But Rabbi Tom is going farther because he said it's mutter in... Either way. In public. In public, yeah. Right, so this is actually quite... The way Ksav Sofer portrays Rabbi Tom is actually quite problematic. Okay? Mm-hmm. That is... Um, Okay, so now if you want to look at the summary here in English, Ksav Sofer explains that regarding construction, although most workers are paid for their time, at least that was the reality in time of the Gemara, there is no inherent reason why the workers could not work through Kablanot, where they would be paid by the job. Therefore, if someone sees a worker building a Jew's house on Shabbos, he will assume that the worker is a Kablan. Right, and this is where the Ksav Sofer makes a jump, and he says, you know what, you know why it's not a problem to stay Chemed? You know why no one will say they're doing something else, sir? Why? No because Jews should. don't like violating Yisurim. And if there's an usher way to do it and a mutter way to do it, do it they're going to do it the mutter way. So why then by the Merchats do you not assume? Right? Why the, by the Merchats is it usher? If you always assume the Jews do the right thing, mm-hmm. then why is it the Merchats usher? Done in an usher? Because it's, it doesn't even make sense. Right? It's not just that people don't usually hire contract workers to work at their spa it's because it's weird meaning not just weird it doesn't make sense the profit margin isn't high enough and therefore someone will look at it and say I want to give you the benefit of the doubt but but really you're giving up on the little profit that you have right like it doesn't make sense and therefore they'll say you know I thought Nachum was a from guy (laughs) right but maybe not 
right? They won't say, oh, maybe Nachum is fabulously wealthy and is doing this as a present to Luke because Luke has been so helpful for him in all of his previous business ventures, Endeavors. right? So is Luke the manager or is he now the contractor? <laughs> what? He depends. Sometimes Luke, he's been a contractor. Luke is now, the guy. Ah. He's the guy. He's his guy. He's Luke guy. is Nachum's guy. Okay? Good. Okay, that's Rabbeinu Tam is understand but except so far. Okay? The, the re takes it differently. He says, nah, it's Usser. <coughs> it's Usser. He says, what are you talking about? Right? He says, it's not true. The re says, it's very simple. Right? It's very simple. Houses are Usser. And fields are mutter. Why? Because fields people share crop, and houses they don't, and they hire day workers. That was the reality. Of as, a, as a partner, no, not not as a partner, as a sharecropper, mm-hmm. right? And that's not a partner. Yeah, what benefit are you getting from that? No, but like, don't we refer normally to sharecroppers? I'm not saying as partners, but they're a sort of a partner, sort of. They're a partner in the profits. Yes, yes, okay. So therefore, the Reese says, no, the fact that the Gemara and Mod Katan, right, says it is usher to build a house, right, to have the guy build a house, right, Rabbi says, I, Stira, right, ah, that's about Avil, right, the Reese says, no, that's about Shabbos, the Gemara and Mod Katan is about Shabbos, and therefore what, houses are usher, period, fields are mutter, why? Because fields, people normally share crop in houses. People don't. They don't. So, right? Not not complicated. Right? Not complicated. Now, according to this, right? Meaning, you don't need all the lump just looks up so far. It's very simple. If people normally share a crop, us, sir. If they don't, so they're out. If they don't nor, normally share a crop, butcher. If they don't, us, sir. So, that's all there is to it. Therefore, field, mutter. House, usher. That's all. Now, right, they note here at the end, and this will be important in a minute, is that presumably none of this is formal. All of this is time dependent, right? Meaning, in the time of the Gemara, people normally hired out sharecroppers, right? Right. But like you know, nowadays the opposite is true, right? Farm hands are hired. As day workers, right. right? You know, often like undocumented day workers, right? Unfortunately, right, who are paid who are paid below black. minimum wage and taken advantage of. What? Paid in black. They're they're paid in they're on the black market. If that's, yeah, yeah, that's the expression no, yeah, that's you're saying. What I was saying. They're yes, meaning often they're undocumented workers that that the that people take advantage of, right? No, so not, not like, all, obviously, well, but no, like... Oh, I, had, I thought you meant like something of a rural state. Like, oh. No, 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 I'm just saying, like, realistically, a lot of, like, you know, it workers in, yeah. you know, as opposed to houses, right? Yeah. Meaning, even if some of the people working in the house might be undocumented like, workers and the like, true. right? Normally, who do you hire to actually build the house? Uh, a contractor. contractor. I mean, nowadays, the opposite, right? If you're a farmer, you might hire fire hands, f- farm hands based on how much work you need that day. Right? Uh, honestly, dishonestly, whatever. Right? <laughs> right? I don't, but, but houses, right? I didn't hire the day workers for my house. Right? I hired the project manager, right? The, the kablan, literally, right? The kablan. And I said, here, here's how much money I'm giving you. Right? You deal with the rest. Give me my house on time. Right? That's it. Right? Give me my house in two years from now. And that's it. You do whatever you want. Yeah, get it to me on time. I don't care. Right? Now, in Israel, that usually means, ha, 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 yeah, we'll get it to you on time. Sure. Right? <laughs> um, I was lucky. I, I did, right? Meaning, they told me two years ago that I would get it at the end of August. I got it September 6th. Lo nera. Two, right? That's like a rounding error. Two years, two years, one week. Really that's not early. It's like one day yeah. before. I have friends who bought seven years ago. It's still not built, you know? <laughs> yes, it'll be done in two years from some point. It's just like the train from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. It'll yeah. be done in two years. Two years later, it'll be done. Another no, it'll be done in two years. Done Presumably, yeah. two years from some point in the future. Yeah, it's right. Me. Like every point in the future is two years from some point two years earlier than it. <laughs> I didn't say two years from now. I just said <laughs> I just said two years. People, people look, look in two years plus. Yeah, not important. Okay, good. 
<laughs> now it happens to be that the Yerushalmi, many of you should point out, the Yerushalmi sounds not like Rabbeinu Tam. Yerushalmi on the top of page 5 says... Tani Umnin Akum Shahayu Osin Sham Yisrael Betoch Beso Shi Yisrael Asra Betoch Beteyen Motor. Work that the Jew did in his house is Asr. In the Jew's house is Asr. In the non Jew's house is Motor. Amr Shim Ben Alazar, but Medvar Mamurim Bikibolet. That's talking about contract work. Abba Baskar Yom, Asr, but day workers you can never hire. This is things that are detached from the ground. When anything attached to the ground is Asr. In a different city it is Mutter. What does that mean? That means if it's outside the city, whether it's attached to the ground or not, it's Mutter. So the first day in the Gemara is, is that Mutter even? Perhaps it's mutter even b'schar yom. So Ela says no, it's only by contract work. And Shimon ben Karsten of Shimon Reach of Shabbos uba avel uba vodzar alach ker Shimon ben Alazar. Um, and therefore, Shimon ben Alazar explains that even a kablan may only work on Shabbos if he is working in his home or outside the city, right? But you can't do it where people are going mm-hmm. to, to see you in the rush. Therefore, rejects it. Kedushas b'tam b'shamim Shimon ben Alazar v'lo matzina b'talmud shalon shecholigalav minayin lanu lehatir helka kol kibolis b'mechubar kibinyan bias aser. And therefore, based on this, the rush says that he thinks any. Uh, Kablonus in Mechubar is Aser, uh, like Rabbeinu Lazar, and therefore he passes against Rabbeinu Tam, um, and you are not uh, allowed to. Okay, fine. Um, now, there is a... Uh, right, the Yerushalmi is a bit unclear. Right? The Yerushalmi, admittedly, here is a bit unclear uh, what exactly is going on in the... Yerushalmi, right? I ran through it. But the Yerushalmi is actually quite unclear. Um, right, so what exactly is the Yerushalmi uh, getting at? So the Yerushalmi has how many criteria? These examples? Criteria. He's dealing with the Not examples, criteria. Like, uh, what issues? Yes, so uh, one was public versus private. One is connected to the... Right? Computer. But one, another one was, are you working in the Jew's house or the non-Jew's house? And the third one was, attached to the ground or not attached to the ground? Right? Now, what exactly are these principles? That's a good question. <coughs> I don't get what you working for the non. And what do those three principles do? What does you working for the non-Jew have to do with anything? Not, not you working for the non-Jew. What do you, the That's non-Jew? Like, yeah. It can't be public. Oh, you were. It ha- can't be done in your house. It's be done in his oh, house. I, okay, fine. That's what I mean. Right. It can't be attached to the ground. Right. Right. Now the Bar Alacha just says, ah, d- don't be so midactic, right? Yeah. Really, there's only one rule, which is. Do it. Is it public or not? What the Gemara, the Yerushalmi is giving you examples. If it's done in the Jew's house, right? Meaning, the Jew, non-Jew comes and you ask the Jew, non-Jew, build me a bookshelf, right? right? So there's two ways he could do it. He could come into your house and build the bookshelf on your wall, or he could build it, in his, build it in his in his you know in his Where? carpenter you know carpentry place, whatever, mm-hmm. whatever it's called, or right? Workshop, yeah, his workshop. Right? And then bring it to your house and assemble it quickly, right? Mm-hmm. So, one of those is public and one of those is private. If he does it in his workshop, nobody knows it. it's for you. And therefore... Yeah, but then they see him bringing it over. No, he can't bring it on Shabbos. But he can do the work on Shabbos. Oh, okay. Right? Meaning, the Mishnah, Be'er Lachot says, don't get so caught up in the Rishami. The Rishami is just giving you different, like, examples of when something would be public and private. Right. Namely, if... It's done in the non-Jew's house, in private. So then, it's mutter because as long as you pay by contract, it's, it's fine. Right? It's just an example. Right? It doesn't mean this as a, uh, as a formal rule. 
right? And that's that's all it means, okay? Right, that's it. Right, the point is that it can't be minkar, it can't be recognizable that it's the Jews in any way that, that it is made private, right? You don't see it, and it's on the non-Jew's house, the chule, so then it is... Then it's butter. Okay? Um, he wants to know if it's public or private, attached to the ground or not. And done in the non Jews' house. But I mean, it's one big rule according to the, to the way, right? Essentially, according to the Baral Acha, it's one big rule. Okay? And that's why he argues the Shulchan Aruch doesn't bring all these different conditions. Right? Meaning there's only one real condition. It doesn't bring big Beit Social Yisrael because the point of Beit Social Yisrael is that it shouldn't be public. Right? That's it. Yes? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, okay, look at the, you have the Harchavot, look at the Harchavot in page 2. However, right, that's not so clear for the third condition, namely, attached to the ground, not attached to the ground. Right, so if you look at the Rosh, the Rosh writes, Yerushalm Parakam the Shabbos Zetanya, B'med Varmur Mitalosh Menach Karka, V'mukhubar L'Karka Oster, Helka Kol Kibolet M'chubar Kibinyan Bayez Oster, right, the Rinatam, so the Rosh forbids, therefore what? Uh, the rush forbids that there's no. Um... By the way, okay, I, I, maybe that I, I don't think I actually articulated this today, right? The way the rush concludes in this gemara, the re concludes in our gemara, is that it's usher to have someone build a house for you. It's mutter to have them build a fi- uh, to work in a field for you, but only if what? If it's if, uh, if it's not in the city, right? Remember, because uh, he reads Rabbeinu Ta, right? He reads because right. The re reads what? Right? If you read the gemara in Moit Katan as implying. Is applying to the Gemara in Avodah Zarah, you're allowed to hire the te- right the guy to work in your field if it's Arisud or the like or contract if it's not in the city. Okay, fine. Right, it has to be okay. private. You first started with how you can do the field if it's outside the city, which right. Okay, I, I was pretty sure I made this clear at some point, but okay, fine. Um, and therefore he says, look, a house is us, sir. But then, and this is where I think it gets very formal, and this may just be a low plug, right? Because conceptually, otherwise, it doesn't make sense. Which is, the Rush thinks that according to the Rushalmi, if something is talush vitzarach mechubar, meaning, I am, the guy is, um, is ewing stones. And he's cut, he's polishing stones basically into the right, making stones into squares, right? What? Uh, gravestones. No, 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 for your house, we're doing the house, uh, right? Okay. He's, he's taking the rocks from the quarry, and he's turning them into nice squares to build, right, like bricks, right? And he's doing that in his house. Right. So is that mutter? So I would have thought, yes. Yes. Well, we I mean, said. if the only principle is public-private, then I would have said, who cares that the rocks will eventually be put into my house? They were done in... He's doing it in his private space. Yeah. But the rush thinks, according to the Rushalmi, that that would be... Uh, sir. Uh, sir. Um, and he writes from his grandfather that he didn't allow them to put rocks that they had made into right bricks or whatever even if they did it in their own private property he didn't allow them to use that to build on Shabbos sorry not on Shabbos ever if they, if they made those bricks on Shabbos he didn't allow them to use it for his house ever. And that's actually how Shulchan Aruch Paskins. They live Shalavon and Taka and Koros to right, to shape these rocks or boards. Afilu bebeso she'ena Yehudi asur kevin de letzorach mechuburhu vim asu ken lo yishakem bevinyan if he did it, he shouldn't put it in the house. Now this is a bit weird, right? Because if the only rule is what? Private or... Private or public, this is weird. So I assume that this has to be like a low plug. Right, that the way we set up the Xera, I, this is the only way I can understand it. Right, is that once we forbade doing anything in public, you might do it in private. Right, so then we, right, we just say, look, we, we don't distinguish. And anything which formally is considered, right, building like, right, is us. Or alternatively, maybe you could say that usually, right, people, you know, don't do it in their house. They do it near the building site. Right? Meaning, think about it, right? They didn't have big trucks. Nowadays, it's totally normal. You bring a truck full of perfected rocks. Mm-hmm. Right? But, like, presumably, they didn't always do that. I don't know. 
and maybe it's just like we're worried that people will end up doing next to the house and therefore it's part of the Xera. I don't know. Okay? Um, now the Dougal Mevava Shari Shuva quotes now another possibility is um, that maybe it's just very well known right is that like if you have someone building a house for you People right. Know that it's yeah, it's like you know, if you hire somebody, you know, you like you put on your front door, right? I have uh, X, you know, Luke's carpentry people, company. Usually, people put signs outside. Correct. So then, if they happen to go by the uh, you know workshop and they see them building uh, whatever, right, getting boards ready, they'll say, "Oh, those are the boards that are for Nachum's house." Mm-hmm. Right, something like but that. They know that it's right. But again, these are all variations on the theme that. You know, the type of thing that's built into the house is maybe too public. I don't know. Okay. Um, it also might take away from other people's simplicity. Uh, or next Shabbos if they hear banging and all that. Yeah. Now, the, the Dogo Meir Vava, though, says that he has a het there. That he thinks that even according to Shulchan Aruch, he has a way out. And that is, maybe the Shulchan Aruch would only forbid it, or the Yushalmi would only forget, forbid it, if Nahum said, listen, Luke, I want you to build my house with this stone. Right? Like, here's the stone that I got from the quarry. Mm -hmm. I want you to use this for my house. But let's say he just said, Luke, I want you to build my house out of Jerusalem stone. Mm -hmm. Kind of required to do that. What? Correct. And he said, I don't care which Jerusalem stone. Do whatever you want. So then, Dr. Mevava says, it's mutter. Why? Because even if Luke is now getting the Jerusalem stone ready for Nachum's house, let's say on Sunday morning, he says, you know what? My house, like Luke's house, is... Uh, Luke is a Gertoshev in our scenario here. Okay? My house in, uh, in Yerushalayim, you know, uh, you know, is not finished yet. And you know... Nachum can wait. He has another... He has over, you know, ten houses, right? He doesn't need this house so urgently. You know what? All the rocks... Yeah. All the stones that I prepared yesterday, I'll use for my house, and I'll, I'll prepare some new ones for Nachum. So then even though on Shabbos he was, use, he was making the stones for Nachum, he wasn't really because he could decide to use it for his own, right? And therefore, if he says... Right, if on Sunday morning he says, you know, I will use it for Nachum. Right? Mm-hmm. I mean, the point is, Nachum Rebbe says, the only time it's us, sir, is if Nachum says, I want these stones. Because then, when he was working on the stones, he was doing it for Nachum. But if you just hire a contractor who's building a hundred houses, even if he thought, he, even if he actually built this, gets the stones ready for Nachum, it's not us, sir, why? Guys, why? Sorry. Why is it not us, sir? Because he could still... Because he could, he could switch it! Could Meaning, switch. Yeah. if... The only time it's us, sir, the only time that everybody's going to know that so these rocks are for Nachum's house is if Nachum was insistent on these rocks. Every brick said donated by Nachum. By Nachum. Not donated. For Nachum's house. Huh? Right? Um, okay. Fine. Um, now, additionally, anything which is very public, even if it's not a house... Is also also right? I mean, the principle here is that things shouldn't be done in public, and therefore Shulchan Aruch writes that So a boat, right? If Noah, if Nach, okay, you get to be rich today, right? Yosef, Yosef doesn't have that many houses, but he does have yachts. So, so Yosef decides he wants his sixth yacht. So he hires. It's not bad. Chris to build his yacht. Now, Yosef doesn't have small yachts. He has very ostentatious yachts that say Yosef's yachts, right? So, just because it's not a house, right? Normally we say Metaltlin are fine, right? If you hired Chris to, uh, you know, make another diamond ring for your wife, so, uh, so very expensive, but so what, right? He'll do it in his house and no one will know until the end. Right? Mm-hmm. But your yacht, which is... Uh, says my name straight on the face of the... Yeah, place. you know, and... Uh, you know, he's, he's fixing it up in the, in the harbor, right? 
So Shulchan Aruch says that that's also usher, right? It's not just houses, it's anything which is public like houses. Or it's, and it shows that it's you. Right. Now there does seem to be a little bit of a, of a stira because in Reish Mem Dalad Dalad, Shulchan Aruch says it's usher, and in Reish Mem Beis Gimel he says, Tov Lahachmir, it's better to be Machmir, which doesn't sound like it's um, actually usher. The Ber Halacha says, okay, we Lahalacha are Machmir Mikra Din, not just a Chumrah, but we actually are, are Machmir on Yosef's yacht. Okay, fine. Okay. Uh, let's we have a little bit of time. Okay. An obvious point. I've said it several times, but now to see it inside. As we said, all of these are based on Mars Ayin, which means that there has to be a concern that you're doing it in an usher way. But that's not objective. That depends on time and place. And therefore, the Ridva, number five, look at the bottom of five, says, Live note by Asur Houses are Asur unless people always do it. What? With a contract order. Good. He said, Olam, Akolafim, Kviyas Manu, Minag Olam. Everything based, is based on what it's like where you live now. The call to Talibet Tergim in Hagam Shari called the Talibet Sur Asur, Kachmer Chaz, Bizman Zemutter, Sheminag Olam Askir. He says, Therefore, nowadays, nowadays, you can rent out the spa. Why? People because people do do that. People do say, you know what, Luke? I'm not in the mood to run my spa. I'm just going to rent it to you as a franchise for this whole year. Give me, you know, 10000 bucks, and you can get all the profit. It's not worth a headache. That's totally normal. It's called a franchise, right? Right. And therefore, the Ritva says, nowadays, we don't have the same limitations, right? You can rent out a Merchat, right? Because who cares? Everyone knows. Oh, yeah. So, Nachum... Yeah, you know, so he franchised out his his Merkats, big deals. So not in one of his houses. Right. So he fran okay. So I built a yard. Good. So to summarize, what we have is that the re and the rush it is forbidden to allow non-Jew to work on Shabbat, even the Kabbalah, if it's done publicly, yeah. right? And we already talked about Mechubel Karka, and it is work. If it is work, it's customary done through Shkurs Yom. If the kind of work is customary done through Kabbalah, or reasons permitted for the worker to work as a Kabbalah or as a renter, if there's no Marzayin, and in these situations, the non-Jew is working for his own interest, the Ritva adds that permitted modes of employment may vary in different times and places. Okay? Should we stop there for today? We could, yes. Okay, fine. So that we're at the bottom of page five, Right? Uh, so tomorrow, make sure to continue. I, you know, I thought you'd be finished with these star sheets. <laughs> I really did. I gave you a whole day, but you know, whatever. Uh, and try to look at the Harakavot a little bit.